Oh, good evening to, uh, I'm a little disheveled at the moment. <laughs> I am working my tail off, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, uh, sometimes, uh, in this world, uh, I'd like to dress the uh, American people. And, you know, uh, I'm sure it's been uh, quite a very long time since uh, some of you have actually even taken the time out of your day to read something. And, uh, you know, right now my channel <coughs> is, I know it's getting some attention, but it may be getting some attention in the wrong way. Um, I, um, I have something I want to read to you all. And it's the Constitution, and that for, for truly, uh, which it stands. Um, we, the people of the United States in America, in order to form a powerful union, and let justice and fear, a diplomatic tranquility, provide for the common defense promote the general welfare and the cure of briefings of liberty to ourselves and our profiterity. Do ordain and inhabit the contribution of the United States of America. I'll be right back. This is how busy I am these days. I can't even sit down with my own wife and have a good meal. Uh, you know, it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, my wife is in bed uh, sleeping uh, as I speak. Uh, you know, I'm Canadian. Um, you know, I used to be very proud to be. Um, I still am. Because I know I, I hold, someone uh, has called me a truth teller. And uh, it is quite funny that uh, Trump has even said that nowadays uh, telling the truth has almost become vil villainized. You know, it's become villainized. And what I mean by this what I mean by this, uh, by it becoming villainized, is people don't want to hear the truth. Um, a number of people on YouTube, uh, since I've uh, started this, uh, one, uh, Tanya Z, uh, Amy Watson Beck, uh, a few of you have really, really, whenever I've been on, uh, on a live stream with you, you two especially, um, you know, and you guys obviously are just complete fucking trolls. You don't have any content. You don't have any friends. Um, you know, you're not really subscribed to anything. You come on with these fake accounts, and uh, which are not your primaries, of course. And you, 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 you know, you just uh, run your gates uh, really prol prolifically without any real cause. Without, you don't even have an agenda. You're not Hillary supporters, you're not Trump. You're just, you're just people that don't know what the fuck is going on in the world. Uh, and you could give two fucks, actually. That's what's really sad, is that you'll go on to a, a live stream and run your fucking mouth not knowing anything 
Um, and, you know, expect to have uh, an opinion that people are going to want to listen to. It's complete garbage. It's complete garbage. It's like, uh, you know, Jim Costa, Jim Costa you know, uh, thinking that, you know, after all he's done to help this charade along, uh, he thinks he still has a right to sit in the front row? Are you kidding me? Uh, and I am going to call Donald Trump out for that. Um, and also Sarah. Uh, Sarah's part of his administration. Uh, shame on you, Donald. Shame on you. I don't care how much they paid for that press pass. You should have... You should have put him, you should have made him wait in the White House washroom, and I don't mean the executive washroom, I mean like the janitor's washroom, you know, um, broom closet, you know, would be a good one for him, um, you know, personally, I read something that I think, not just every American should hold true to their heart and dear to their heart, but something that all human beings should. <clears throat> I'm uh, in the process of making a very short uh, feature film right now that I'm going to be putting onto YouTube and uh, Daily Motion and Twitter. Um, I'm hoping it's really going to take off. I believe it will. I believe it will. Um, and it's going to get some people's fucking attention out there. Um, but I've decided to put up a little trailer of some, some of the things that I'll be adding personally. A lot of things I have, I mean, it's going to be about a, an hour long movie. Um, so you guys will have to bear, bear with it, but there won't be a boring moment, I guarantee you. Um, my hope, uh, is that, um, you know, my hope is that you guys, uh, will take the time to watch it. Uh, you will enjoy it. But you're really gonna, you know, even if there's a little comedy in there and a lot of drama, you'll see it for what it is. You'll see Hillary Clinton for the, uh, for the woman, for, for, you know, you'll see her in a light that so many people don't. She's an enabler of, a, of an abusive man. She's an enabler to, uh, you know, I, I've mentioned his name a few times. I'm not going to again. It's just to, but he's, right now there is a very, very good chance that uh, that gentleman will evidently spend some years in jail. Um... I think it's going to happen uh, by the looks of it. It hasn't really been in the media uh, as of late, but from what I've been able to read, uh, it's not looking good for him. He's had to sell out, sell off two of his homes. He's had to, I mean, he's either going to go flat broke and be living on, uh, you know, Biloxi Boulevard, <laughs> or he's uh, going to go to fucking prison, you know? And uh, that's usually the case in these political circles. Uh... You know, when you're, when your back's against the wall, they'll cast you out. Just like a leper. You see, these, these people are only as good as you allow them, as they allow themselves to be. When their back's against the wall, you know, and it's true. It's it's uh it's unfortunately politics is a very very dirty game. You got to know what the hell you're doing. I believe that Donald Trump knows what he's doing. Um, you know, he he he. By the way, he has brought jobs back to to the state of Michigan. Um, I've been paying attention to the to to the uh, to the markets. Have all of you? Probably fucking not. So if you're not doing that, how the hell do you know anything? Um, and by the way, 
uh, one of the very, very newest. Does anybody know about the newest chain of uh, small fast food restaurants in, in Michigan that are going up all over the place? Can anybody, I'm not going to drop, you know, what I know just to you fucking empty-headed morons uh, out there for you guys to trip up and say, oh, I knew that. I was just doing some research on it not long ago, just a few minutes ago. Um, and do you guys know about that? Do you guys know that the reason why he's applying all of these tariffs on steel and aluminum, and it's because these fucking companies keep taking your fucking money. And that's right, not, not Donald's money. Your money that comes out of tax dollars from these fucking business grants for these... And what do they do? They take these fucking monies and six months later, oh, you know, GM. Oh, the cruise isn't selling well here. Well, too fucking bad. You took, you know what, in some countries, like Dubai, you take a loan from a bank or you take a, a, a grant, you know, you, you, you know, if it's a grant, it's usually free, but if you, if you take a loan or if something, you don't pay your bills or you don't fulfill your contract obligations, they throw you in fucking prison. But I guess that's the American way, isn't it? You should be all very fucking proud of yourselves. And I know there's a lot of you that think like me. I know there's a lot of you. My hope is that uh, we'll get rid of the naysayers. Lock them up. Throw, you know what? Make them climb over that fucking goddamn barbed wire fence and go live in fucking Mexico. You know? Yeah. Send all the fucking Democrats... Throw that, put them in a big fucking barrel and throw them over the goddamn wall. You know? If they're so unhappy with the way, you know, things are going, it's, it's, it's really uh, sad that, you know, Hillary and her hubby took all that money, didn't give practically anything to their party before they got booted. Out of, out of the White House. You know, in this life, you know, you have to take with one hand, but give something back with the other. And that is definitely not the Clinton administration. It was not. Uh, Donald is making sure that whatever money he invests, that it doesn't go, you know, with an untimely fashion. But look at fucking General Motors going to fucking China when they were they were contracted to build two more new plants, one in Michigan, one in Ohio. Now all of a sudden they're going to fucking China. They're go they already have one in Mexico. Fuck off, GM. Thanks for taking your country's fucking money that you hold so dearly to your. Oh yeah, Chevy's always pr prided themselves on being fucking American. Yeah, that's the American way, eh? You want to bring... Pardon me for a second. I want to bring that here with my little... Uh, pardon me a second, guys. See, this is my life. This is my life right now. Because I don't even have time to cook a decent meal. You see that? The cats get to eat roast beef, for God's sake. <laughs> Jeez. Right? You know, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny, isn't it? You guys are like, I know what you, all you guys are going to say. You don't have any proof of this. I've already, I'm done trying to prove myself to you guys. You know what? 
I'm just going to keep making the videos and keep doing these these commentaries because uh, the funny thing is you guys uh, say in your little live streams that uh, I can't prove anything. Really? I bet I bet I bet the other night when I when I just by the time you guys get this it'll be maybe a day or two and I'm willing to bet you you guys didn't even look up the State of Department Freedom of Information Act website that I sent a link to because you know you guys are just too important too smart to do any of that research right you guys are too smart too too smart for that y'all a bunch of fucking geniuses aren't you you see, and this is why people like Donald Trump are a success. And about 70% of you, 80% of you out there are not. There's winning. And, you know, in CNN's case and Aaron Burnett's case and Mr. Lemon's case and in Mr. Jim Acosta's case and in Barbara Walter's case, and even a Wolf Blitzer and, and you know, of other people's case. It's quite the opposite of Charlie Sheen. Instead of winning, it's losing. So with that thought, I bid you a good evening.